Chi fraternity is still allowed to be on campus after a report of a sexual assault at the house on Halloween weekend. The case is still under investigation. News Channel 12's Lucy Nelson is on campus tonight. She's joining us now live with more on the story. And Lucy, where are the police in their investigation? Frank, Greenville police say anytime you're dealing with a sexual assault case, they are not open shut cases. Every case is unique and they are still in the process of investigating. Students on campus, though, are calling for action now for the university. Students made their voices heard as they marched from the ECU main campus student center to the chancellor's office Wednesday in response to a report of a sexual assault case at the Theta Chi fraternity house. We believe that survivors should be heard. We want to give a voice to them. We want them to know that they are supported, whether it's a man or a woman. They have a place on this campus and perpetrators don't. The investigation is still underway and no charges have been filed in this case. But students say the university needs to take action now, like Kelly Proctor, who saw the group marching and left her class to join in on the protest. I think that it's important to do it on campus because now you have professors coming by, you have tourists coming by, doing their campus tours, seeing that as bad as some campus organizations can be, you see that there are people on this campus that support you, that believe you, that listen to what you say. I reached out to the university to see if they are taking actions to remove the fraternity, but they told me they are not making comments at this time. However, Associate Vice Chancellor in Student Affairs Eric Newbel actually helped organize the protest and says as administration, he felt it was important to assist students in voicing their concerns. I think that this event goes a long way in helping to improve that communication and making sure that the administration hears what the students are saying and the students get to meet administration face to face so that they have names with faces and know who they can turn to. March organizer Caitlin Bracey says she knows the investigation is still ongoing. While I do believe that that fraternity should not be allowed on campus anymore, there is a process right. to this and so I will allow that process to happen and if nothing happens at the end of it, then then we will fight even harder. Again, Greenville police say right now they cannot give specifics as the case is still under investigation. There is no timeline as to when that investigation will be over. Live in Pitt County, I'm Lucy Nelson. Well, let's take a look out there.